Yeah. Hello again, everybody. Start, start show off clearing his throat right there. Lance Russell and Dave Brown right along ringside, all ready to go with another big day. Championship wrestling. And by golly, we got a good card, and particularly that final expiration of time match. Today. Well, you're right about that. We're going to have uh, Jerry Ralph in here in uh, the opening match with Bill Smithson, his partner. We had our first look at him a week or so ago. Steve Regal and Rick Morton going against them in a tag team match. <coughs> then the Avenger will be going against Big Red in a single match. And the expiration of time match today. Stand by for this one. Rick and Robert Gibson on one side of the ring. On the other side, it'll be the king, Jerry Lawler, and his partner, handsome Jimmy Valiant. Mm, boy, I'll tell you what, that's a good line. In addition to that, we've got some very interesting bouts from around the territory that are on videotape, and we'll be seeing all of that. So it stands to be another one of those good, exciting, rough and tough wrestling action coming up on Championship Wrestling. Stay right there. We're going to be back with an opening bout coming up in just one more. This will be a one-fall, 15-minute time limit match. Introducing, at a total weight of 492 pounds, on the left of your screen, from Nashville, Tennessee, Jerry Ralph and Bill Smithson. Going against them, at a total weight of 417 pounds, from Nashville, Tennessee, Rick Morton. From Indianapolis, Indiana, Steve Regal. This match, one-fall, 15-minute time limit, referee Paul Morton. Young team of Smithson and Ralph with Smithson starting against Regal and Rick Morton. Ought to be a good one in there. And Smithson and Ralph are going to get to see what it's like to go against two of the fastest guys around. You're right about that. There's some of the speed right there from Steve Regal. Arm up behind. Over to the ropes, Bill Smithson. Break call for it. He gets a nice clean one. Steve Regal backs away. Regal working the arm again and the shoulder. Steve over to the corner. Tag on Rick Morton. Morton takes over the arm. Smithson looking for the corner. He finds it. Tags his partner, Jerry Ralph. Rick Morton against Jerry Ralph. On the ropes, break call for. Morton backs away quickly. Ralph still complained that he, he didn't back away quick enough. I don't know how he could have moved any quicker. Leg drop, good one by Rick Morton. Puts Ralph on the mat. Ralph grabs the bottom rope, slides under to break call for. Ralph out of the ring, down on the floor. Rolls back under the bottom rope, into the ring again. Rick Morton waits for him there. Minute and a half gone. Down to the mat again goes Jerry Ralph. Rick Morton rolled the shoulders down, but Ralph near the ropes pulled himself under that rope again. Ralph over to the corner. Conference with Bill Smithson, the referee, trying to get him back into action. Morton back onto the ropes by Ralph. Yeah, no clean break from Ralph. He's slugging. Rick Morton answered him the same way, though, as he came off those ropes. Ralph again using the rope. It's under there. That breaks the hold. Tag made by Rick Morton, Steve Regal back in. Steve out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Caps Jerry Ralph on the back and says, hey, I'm in here now. Steve with the headlock on Jerry Ralph. Off the rope, Regal shoulder butt puts Jerry Ralph down to the mat, goes to the ropes again, drives him down to the mat one more time. Steve Regal, the headlock. Ralph, back Regal to the rope. Whoa, Steve popped him. After Ralph had slugged him, 
when he was back on the ropes. To the corner here is Rick Morton again. Rick takes over the headlock. Ralph rolling Rick's shoulders down to the mat briefly. Got a one count out of it. Here goes again, trying to reverse it on Rick Morton. Got a one, one and a half maybe. Rick Morton able to get the shoulders up, and he maintains the headlock on Jerry Ralph. Close to the four-minute mark. Regal puts Jerry Ralph into the rope, rolls him down as he comes over there. Jerry Ralph would very much like to get to the corner and tag Bill Smithson. Ralph has been in there most of the time. Smithson coming back in now. Second time he's been the official man in the match. They kind of double team and Regal over in the corner. Smithson keeping him pinned back against the turnbuckles. Ralph grabs him from outside. Referee trying to get it all broken up. Rick Morton jumped in there to try to even it up. But the double team continues, and Smithson firing a right fist to the midsection of Steve Regal. Regal out of the corner, back to center ring, and in short order, puts Smithson down on the mat. Four minutes, 45 seconds into the action, a one-fall, 15-minute time limit match. There is Rick Morton, waiting patiently in the corner. His partner, Steve Regal, has just had his hair pulled. You saw it as he was yanked to the mat by Smithson. Head scissors put on by Steve Regal. It's missing out of it. Five minutes, ten seconds gone. Standing wrist lock by Steve Regal. Up around behind and drops Smithson down to the mat. Hair again. Boy, Smithson likes to pull hair. About the third time he's yanked Regal's hair so far. They've got the arms tangled. Not sure who has the advantage. Steve Regal. Steve Regal does now. Yes, sir. He drops him to the mat. Unfortunately for Steve uh, Smithson, under the bottom rope, so the referee called for it and got a break. Headlock by Regal. Over to the corner, the tag on Rick Morton. Six minutes, 15 seconds, gone. Ooh, Rick Morton caught a knee from Bill Smithson. Smithson with a body slam. Back to the rope, drops with the upper part of the arm. Over to the corner in the tag on his partner, Jerry Ralph. Ralph fired a right fist. Rick Morton had about enough of that. He grabs him over to the corner. Regal rolls him down. One, two, three, that is it. Six minutes, 52 seconds. Steve Regal, Rick Morton, teamwork. Wins the match for him over Jerry Ralph and Bill Smithson, 652. The yeah, time. there was a situation, Dave, where uh, Steve and Rick were kind of coasting in the sense that they were going along in control of the match with the young team of Ralph and Smithson. And then all of a sudden, uh, Ralph and Smithson uh, decided they were going to take over and beat some stew out of Rick Morton, and bam, 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 it turned around real all quick over right, right there. there. You better believe it. The action goes to Steve Regal and Rick Morton. More championship wrestling action coming up, and we're going to be back to it in just one moment. Big action coming up Tuesday night right there in the Louisville Gardens in Louisville, Kentucky. And by golly, I'll tell you what, last week there was some slam-bang six-man, but this coming week, Tuesday night, no disqualification, no time limit. We love it. We love it. Let me ask you one question. Do you, have you ever seen, no, that's a silly question. I was going to say, have you ever seen a grown man cry? But I know you do when you look in a mirror. But last week, brother, 
to see Jerry Jarrett, who's supposed to be the big shot promoter around the country, sniveling, laying on that mat, crying like a baby, with Jimmy Hart pounding his brains out and me stomping him, and he was actually had big alligator tears running down his face, begging that referee to stop the match. Now, is that something? Now, naturally, Jerry Jarrett, he's the big shot. He's the boss man. So the referee said, ring that bell. That's the only way you got out of that match with your skin, Jarrett. And let me tell you something, Lucas and Dundee, that jerk has made the mistake of his life, and he's going to cost you jerks your career because he has put your name on the contract with no disqualification. Ain't going to stop it this week. You're going to see three men cry. It's going to be those clowns. Yeah, that's a matter.